I know you toured with The Illusionist, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which was awesome for you. Went to Australia with The Illusionist, went to Kazakhstan, the Broadway of Mongolia. How was that (laughs) whole experience? It was really bizarre. I mean, first of all, doing any kind of stand-up where you're performing in one language and then it has to get translated before the audience can really understand what you're saying is its own little, it's a, is a trip. Um, my translator was great. They were like, we're going to find you somebody who's like in the comedy industry in Kazakhstan. And they found a clown, uh, a circus clown, uh, which in a way, a sneak preview of the rest of my life. There you um, go. There you go. He was really great though. His name was Marat. Uh, he was awesome. Uh, I, I sat down with him before our first show and I was like, I'm going to go through all the jokes that I think I'm going to be doing. And I'm going to explain to you why they're funny and why they work. Like, what about the way I phrase it? What about the rhythm is making it funny? So that he would have sort of an implicit understanding of what needs to be translated. What's the most important thing? Because my biggest fear was that in the translation, he he would lose Lose the the reason it's funny. Mm -hmm. Um, And uh, to his credit, I mean, we we worked on a sort of a system where I would give him a certain amount of a joke, then he would translate it, then I'd give him more of the joke, he would translate it. Uh, And so... I, I knew exactly how long it would take before we'd get to the end of it. And I, and then I would hear, so I'd tell the punchline and then I would like white knuckle it. Like, okay, I got four or five seconds before he translates it. And then you'd hear the laugh and you're like, okay, good. It worked. So, so how long did it take you to get used to that? Cause that's very odd. It was super odd. I would accelerate into the punchline. So okay. we, would do, we would translate less and less and less until we got to the punchline. Gotcha. So that was super useful. Um, but like it was, yeah, it, it was also figuring out what jokes do and don't work. Like anything with wordplay is not going to work because it's yeah. going to get translated into another language. And then cultural things. Like I was performing in front of this giant glass ball, this giant sphere. It was, like very, it was next to the theater. So I was trying to make Epcot jokes. And then I was like, oh, they the vast majority of these people do not, have not been to Disney. So that Epcot joke went, what, the, even the, um, Marat came to me, he's like, what is, what is Epcot? <laughs> and I was like, cool, that joke's out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But they, lo- they, I think it was basically the first stand-up comedian that's ever performed in Kazakhstan. The comedian they hate the most is yes. Sasha Baron Cohen, just because Borat is supposedly from Kazakhstan, but he doesn't look or sound like he's from Kazakhstan, so they take personal offense to that. So they're oh, like, do gotcha. not make any jokes about that. Don't be like, my wife, don't do any of that stuff. <laughs> because that's the Kazakhstan people are sort of Asian, sort of half Asian, half Russian. That's sort of like, they're in they're near Mongolia and Russia and that, that whole thing. Um, they don't look or sound anything like Borat. Uh, Borat's fake language is like mostly, I think, Yiddish and Hebrew. Oh, is it? No. So it doesn't sound like Ka- the Kazakh language. Um, and they're they're also not all living these like crazy villages. They, they just take offense because that's the most press I think Kazakhstan's gotten in like American media. Ever. And so that's what people think of when they think of Kazakhstan. So they are like, that's not our country at all. Mm-hmm. So It'd be like if everybody who goes to New Mexico is like, you all do meth like Breaking Bad, right? Or or when you go to, t- this is what I hate, and they still this, do this in America. Anytime they talk about Texas or show a promo for it, there's a person on a horse. Like I've never <laughs> ridden a horse once. Like, come on, stop it. Stop it with the horses in Texas. Right.